Hello and welcome to a new video about my barbecue controller. I want to use these little devices. Uh, look at look at that. Uh, I want to use those devices. They are called NRF24L01. Uh, those devices they should be enabling the controllers to um, communicate with each other with, with each other a wireless communication port this is without the necessary to have a Wi-Fi there so how to connect this I have opened here a page there are VCC ground then we have chip enabled chip not selected meso mosi clock and so on meso mosi and so on the, that we know huh? so I connected important it only allows uh, it only allows 20 uh, 3 to 3 volt not 5 volt so I have to use the 3 to 3 volt pins plus and minus see plus and minus 3 to 3 here uh, three. 3 to 3 is right ground and here's black the others the next one there is chip chip enabled next to ground I'll make this gray chip enabled next to ground and this goes to D10 no D9 it's written here D9 I'm using there for starters I'm using a schematic yeah. Then chip not selected is to T10. Chip not selected is the next color. Purple. Just use one color after the other. Now it doesn't really matter. Purple chip not selected. Pin number 10. Then we have the mosi. No, the clock. Lower part is blue. Clock goes to here. Then we have the mosey, mosey, green, green, mosey is D11, and the last one must be meso, D12, and this must be here. Okay, that's it for the wiring of this, <laughs> this on that. Huh? And I do it exactly the same on the other channel, on this channel. Yeah, so I'm using a second because I want to have those two, two communicating with each other. So this is like that. Then we have gray and purple. I just copy what I did. All right. All right. Now. I think the reception should be good because they're really <laughs> they're really standing off the board. Uh, good, good. Now let's switch to the computer and let's have a little programming session. So at the computer, we of course need a library. I've never tried to install a library here. Add library, download and install Arduino library with this. Aha, okay, installed library manager. Aha, and we are looking for RF24. This is the library we are looking for. RF24, here we have a library. Install yes. This is the library we have to use Or I am using I think there are others as well. This is now installed already RF Boards or libraries Huh yes, okay so I'm using this library. 
at library user installed rf24 Boah. this i don't need this also i don't need and the spi library i also want to use is this where I find this spi current platform <coughs> spi <coughs> sorry all right this should do the trick hopefully so uh, I have to use R24 radio on the channels 9 and 10. This is where the pins, we, we connected those, 9 and 10. Yeah. What was there at 9 and 10? There was... 9 was chip enabled, chip not selected. Okay, this we need here. Good to know. Then we need a name, a so-called address of this thing. Yeah. This in this example sketch I'm reading here is this like that address realized like that a byte address, and we have we can use six characters. Startup radio dot begin. Zack zack. Are these? Radio, okay, radio, punkt, open, writing, pipe, radio, stop listening. This is the, this is the sending side, okay, this should be the sending side. Is working like that. Can I simply do it like that? That I have the actual milliseconds. Radio write. Text.c string. We need c string here. Size of text.c string. Is this working like that? This is already. This is already different than from the things. I like it more. Delay 1000. I also make a print line. What I am sending apparently and serial.begin. Okay, I connect this. This should be the this one, should be the sender. I'm not sure. Huh? What is this? Something wrong here? Seems to be the wrong. Probably it's the length of the of this character. What is this? Probably this this is not working pretty well with this plus millis. Let's try it like that. Actual, actual. Okay, that's really the case. Can I do it like that? Let's see if this is working now better. Should write it correct then. Long answer. Now it should work. Okay, now this one should send something. I hope at least it's in the in the serial print. It's it's sending. All right. All right. Good. And now I try to receive this on the other 
So this, this, this one should send. Hmm. I have to power supply both. Hmm. I will solve this. And this one should receive. This one should receive. And here I have to do it different. I will also radio begin. And there I am using radio dot open reading pipe. I'm reading. And then say radio dot start listening. Good. This I don't need. And here if radio dot available buffer I have radio dot read buffer address size of buffer zero dot uh, zero dot print buffer. That's it. That's everything I have to do for reading. Is this still come for? No. Good. This is nice because it has probably it's probably getting another call number. No, it's not. It's still come for. Upload. Okay. Now I have to somehow power supply. Power supply the other one. This this one should receive. This one should send. So I have to to use here. I'm just connecting ground, ground, and ground. So this should do no harm. And then I will connect V in and V in. I think this should work. Then both are power supplied by the same. And I'm sure what I'm reading here is coming from here and not from there. All right, and now this should start up and should start sending. One time. <laughs> Why only one time? Initialize this buffer maybe. Why I'm receiving now two times millis forty twenty one. Again forty twenty one. Is this restarting here all the time? I will make a print line buffer. Always receiving the same millis. How is this working? Connect this one. It is sending different. On the receiving side, I always receive the same. Why is that? Now I'm receiving more. Have I done anything different? Anything. I'm on the receiving port. Ah, <sighs> why? Or oh, simply don't care. Simply say, oh, I'm happy it's working. I don't know exactly why. Now it's working like intended. I'm not, I'm not sure why it was first not that way. <laughs> All right, so we can send and receive from wireless. Good. Good, so this is the base. This is how I want to transmit 
uh, my, my measured values, my temperature value, to a handheld device, okay, where I can control everything, uh, my barbecue. I want to send it to the handheld device, and I want to send it to, to the motor driver. What I'm not entirely sure is how to do communication vice versa. Okay, send and receive with both stations. I will have a look into this. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.